hello my dear friends today i'll share with you how i created this theme toggle effect using react context api so i have used next.js to build this if you like these kind of videos and code explanations make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel i bring these kind of videos on every week and make sure you give a thumbs up to this video as well if you enjoyed so let's get started so what I'm doing here is you can see when I click this icon my color theme my color palette get changed my background color change and the color scheme of my website get changed so this is how I'm doing it so basically without uh, getting further with this context API stuff I will generally tell you what I'm doing here so you can see in here in this color.css I have two class names called dark and light so basically what I'm doing is in the layout file I'm going to use uh, this dark and light classes uh, based on the theme toggle so I'm going to inject this class on top of my application so in the layout you can see this inside this children you get everything uh, every component in my application so I'm going to inject this class on top of these uh, children components so you can see in here I'm going I'm wrapping this entire layout with something called theme provider which I will explain later so if we go to this theme provider file you can see I am injecting this class name using a variable called theme so once I set dark the color palette changed to these variables here and when I set the theme to light the color palette changed to this set of variables so inside this application I am using this uh, variable CSS variables to color my application and based on this uh, CSS class at the top which I'm going to inject in top of the layout so all the uh, elements all the components that you see in these variables are also get changed so that's what I'm uh, doing basically when you are starting to create uh, this theme context or else the context API so first thing what we have to decide is what are the things that we are going to share using theme context throughout our application so I, I am going to share this theme variable and also a function called theme toggle theme variable and theme toggle those are the uh, th those are the items that I'm going to share using theme uh, context API throughout our application so when we are working with uh, context API first of all we have to create the theme context so I have created a separate folder called context and inside I have theme context file let's see how I have defined this theme context file in the theme context file you should have the theme context and also theme context provider and I have used TypeScript to declare this theme context and theme context provider and when you are creating theme context using TypeScript you have to create the interface for the theme context I have created the interface with this variable name and the function that I'm going to share and also make sure you pass a default theme as well and so in the theme context provider this is where we are, we are going to uh, create this theme and also this uh, toggle theme function so this theme is just a variable that I'm going to uh, set using the use state but the difference is when we are getting the default value or else when we are setting the default value for the theme I am going to get it using this get theme state lo local store function so what this function does is it gets the theme value fr from the local storage first it checks for the local storage whether there's a value set for the item called theme 
and if it's not it returns light so this theme is either dark or light so string that uh, I'm going to set and the default value is get is getting from the local storage so the reason that I'm using local storage is for the consistency of this theme uh, variable so if a guy or someone refresh the web browser since we store it in the local storage the previously selected value of this theme value is stored in the local storage even though a user refresh the web browser it's stored in the local storage it's not getting erased and uh, the consistency is maintained so uh, that's how I'm uh, getting the first value for the uh, theme and once someone click that uh, button here I'm going to evoke the toggle function here so that what does what this toggle function do is you know if it's light it changes to dark if it's dark uh, it sets to light so the normal uh, dark light variable setting is done through this toggle function so that's the basic things that is happening in the theme context and I am uh, uh, I have other few tricks as well that I've set uh, especially when getting the running this uh, get theme from the local store function I have I'm checking whether it's uh, whether this uh, file is loaded on the client side it's very essential because uh, if it's not uh, if it runs in the server side or when initial loading it will be show some uh, unrelated errors or some errors so to avoid that uh, I'm checking whether the window is loaded if it's undefined I'm not going to uh, execute this but if the window is defined uh, that means it's in the front end or in the client side then I'm going to uh, try to access the local storage and get the theme uh, value and also I have set up a use effect like once someone changed this theme uh, using the uh, uh, toggle theme function I am going to set the new value to the local storage so that's uh, I'm doing it using a use effect and after that after setting the theme context provider and the theme context I'm going to pass these values theme and toggle theme uh, to this theme context dot provider so af after we pass these values from here we can access this any value from anywhere of our application to do that we have to wrap our entire application using this theme context so I have done it in the layout so I have wrapped it using theme context provider and the next thing is how we are going to use it so we are going to use it in the application so to use it I have declared a separate file called theme provider .tsx so I have created a separate folder and in the theme provider let's see how we are going to use these values that we defined in the theme context uh, to use it as usual we have to wrap the theme provider as well through our application through our entire application so let's go inside the theme provider and here you can see we are getting this context uh, for using the use context in react and the theme context in the you can see in the t you can remember in the theme context uh, we passed theme and toggle theme and we are going to use theme which was exported from the theme context inside the theme provider and we set that theme as a class name and we are going to wrap this div at the top level so using this theme provider so you can see these are the children that get passed to this theme provider in the theme provider the children is being consumed and it's wrapping the entire set of children using this div tag with the class name theme that we get from the use context so that's how we are going to consume the context that we uh, uh, that we 
uh, declared in the theme context so and also I have in here I have done a small trick uh, to see whether this uh, component is mounted so that's many whether this uh, entire function is loaded I am going to use use effect and once the use effect triggers that's mean the end component is mounted or else the component is loaded so if it's mounted I am going to set set mounted to true and if it's true only I am going to return this value so that's how uh, we are basically using this uh, theme value so let's see how we are how we are going to use this toggle theme function so we are going to use this toggle theme function inside the inside this button here so I have defined that button called theme toggle in here as same as the theme provider I have used use context and I have used this both theme and uh, toggle theme just to do a console log uh, but mainly I am using toggle theme here so once someone click this uh, uh, icon I have used a ternary operator to show the uh, icon uh, sun icon and this moon icon so but the main thing that I want to show is the toggle theme function that I have used from the uh, theme context so once someone click this toggle theme so the toggle theme which is declared in the theme context gets triggered so so no matter in this entire layout application you can see no matter in which part we use this theme context provider and this toggle theme this function get triggers you can see we can use this uh, toggle theme or theme or any other function that we export from the theme context from anywhere of this our of from our application as long as we wrap the theme context provider and this providers uh, from the to the entire application as long as we wrap the entire application using this theme context provider and theme provider we can use these uh, functions throughout our application so that's how I have defined it and Th th that's the flow that's the normal flow that we are going to uh, implement when we are using any kind of uh, theme context or any kind of context API and I'll be sharing this uh, code with this branch in the YouTube description and you guys can you know play with it and if you have got any problems you can surely drop a comment and that's it guys that's how I have defined uh, theme context to get this uh, toggle theme uh, function so hope you guys enjoyed this video and I think I try to explain it the flow properly and of course to get this understand 100% uh, you have to uh, try it uh, tinker it by yourself so make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and let's see with another awesome video and have a nice day